What you guys got another video here for you on how to get Windows 10 October 2020 update and how to install it on your system. It's also known as Windows 10 20 H2. Now the only safe way of doing this is joining the Windows 10 Insider program and that's probably the safest way of getting the actual download installed on your system. So you want to go to start settings, update and security inside here we're going to go down to the bottom where it says Windows Insider Program. So we're going to click on Get Started, and this will allow us to join the Windows Insider Program. We need to pick an account to get started, so link our account with it. So we're going to choose an account here. It'll allow you to choose a work or school account or Microsoft account. Click on this one and click Continue. This will take a moment to open up the Microsoft box here where you can sign in with your credentials, your email and password for that account. And you can use this account everywhere on your device or Microsoft apps only, whatever you want to do here, click on this and it will then go ahead and start loading up and connecting. It will say, join the Windows Insider program, click register. And we need to click on the sign up here. So we're going to hit the sign up button and you can read the terms and conditions. I've read those and submit your registration. It says you're good to go. We can now close that off and it will start to load up here. So it won't take long. Just give it a bit of time to get it all ready so we can start to register our account and we'll get access to the Windows Insider Program Downloads section. Now, once this loads up, you should get three options to uh, join. So first one is the dev channel. You need to be ideally a highly technical user. So basically you're getting the first access of the latest Windows 10 builds. This is for someone who really wants to get into the insider program and help out with the latest versions of Windows 10. You've got the beta channel here, which is recommended idle for early uh, adapters who like to uh, get Windows 10 builds when they're more reliable. And then you've got the pre-release channel, which is basically up and coming releases of Windows 10 prior to being released. Once you've made your selection, you can then click on confirm and then we'll have one more step to go, which is basically restarting our PC. And this will get us all set up in the Windows Insider program. Now, once this is restarted, it will go through a bunch of uh, updates and let you update your system. We haven't installed the latest version as of yet. We just need to get it prepared, ready for uh, the preview versions, which is the Windows 10 20 H2 in this case. Yours might be, if you're watching this video later on in the future, yours might be a different version, but it will be the same sort of process. So we'll just let this uh, go through its updating process here. Now, the first two channels we looked at was the dev channel and the beta channel. Those channels I would rather use on a test machine rather than on a main machine. Now, the one that I chose in this video was just due to pre-release. So it's going to be nearly ready for release to the general public, which is a much safer option. And mainly you could use that on a main system. But the other ones I would definitely use on a test machine rather than on your main machine, especially if you've got all your data and stuff on there. And make sure you keep regular backups of all your data when messing around with Windows 10 pre-builds. So let's have a look here at what we've got. So what we need to do here is we're back at the desktop and what we need to do is download the latest update for uh, that version. What we want to talk about, which is Windows 10 20 H2. Now, if you're watching this video in the future, then basically you would be doing the same thing, but downloading the very latest version for whatever version you're going to be using. So we're going to open up the WinVer here and you can see we're still on version 2004. So what we're going to do is go to Windows updates and see whether there's an update ready for us to download. So let's go down uh, to the start button and then click on settings, update and security. And you should now see feature update Windows 10 version 20 H2. We can click on this and start to get that update for us and it will start to come down and install on our system. Now, again, if you want to install this on your system, be very careful. If you've got all your data on this system and you haven't got it backed up, 
and you have major problems and you try to roll back, you could end up with big problems. Inside the Insider program here, there's a little button that says Stop Getting Preview Builds, and you can toggle this on or off at any time to opt out if you don't want to be in the Windows Insider program anymore. So we're going to let this download, and then we'll let it install. So you can see it's nearly downloaded now. And then once that's done, it will go to the installation process and start to install Windows 10 version 20H2. So I'll speed this process up so not to bore you and it's now installed and you can see here now it's asking us to restart so all i need to do here is either schedule a restart or i can restart right now and get the update installed on the system so we'll go ahead and restart the system and get this installed so let's click on restart and that will start restarting the system and you can see it's going to get windows updates ready and it will start to install this update on our computer. So who is the Windows Insider program for? It's probably for enthusiasts, technicians, and people who like to write technical articles and also help with testing of early access to Windows updates and Windows update releases. Now for the home user, they probably don't need to join the Windows 10 Insider program. The updates will be released to the general public in due course once all the testing has been done. Now I do find Windows 10 very frustrating to use because it is the best operating system that Microsoft have actually released. Unfortunately, it's their updating system and also their testing program which lets it down. Every time they release an update, it's plagued with bugs and problems and they need to iron those out before they release them to the general public to stop all of this uh, Groundhog Day uh, syndrome with Windows 10. As soon as you update it, you've got loads of problems and you have to fix those problems. Time you fix those problems, there's another update and then load more problems come. And that's what it seems to be like with Windows 10 at the moment. But hopefully they'll get there in the end. It is a really great operating system when it does work. You can see we're now running Windows 10 20 H2. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. If you do want to opt into the Windows Insider program, that's basically how you do it. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.